Hey YouTube, this is Calc84 Maniac, and here's my newest TI Inspire release. Go to the Documents menu here, and open GPSP. Now this is a Game Boy Advance emulator that I ported from the GP2X. And here's Sonic Advance 2. Now this project has been a few months in the making. I've been working on it since about May, and I have released it yesterday. So if you follow the download link in the description, you'll be able to find it. Now this is for the TI Inspire CX only. It, the black and white models are not supported. The main reason is that the CX has a lot more RAM so it can actually load the ROMs because Game Boy Advance ROMs can get pretty big and also who would want to play games on that blurry screen really Alright, I'll load up another game here. Let's see. As you can see, the Game Boy Advance screen here is smaller than the actual TI Inspire screen, but that can be changed in the options. I can change it to, well this is the best looking scale option, but it's also the slowest, though it doesn't take away too much speed. Then there's the full screen, which doesn't keep the aspect ratio, but it looks pretty good and, and it's faster. And then there's the newest one, which is um, unblended scaling, which doesn't look quite as good, but it's the fastest one that will fill up your screen. and back to unscaled.
Right now I'm using an external program called Nover to overclock my Inspire. I have the CPU up to 210, I, th I think 210 megahertz. And the AHB memory clock I have set to 70 megahertz. Now if you overclock your Inspire you should not set it over 70 megahertz or else you might corrupt your file system and that's not good you might lose some important data and if you do that I, I can't help you with any problems on the OmniMaga forums because it's your own fault Okay, just hurry up so we can get to the explosions. There, explosions. Okay. Well, I think my video is about done. Thanks for watching, everybody.